I am Matt Sharp. I work at Shopify. Uh, I'm a data developer there. A very generic title, but essentially machine learning engineer. And I, I don't drink coffee or tea, so I'm a water guy for sure. You know, there's no problem with using any tool. The problem is how you write at different stages of, of using that tool. So while writing module code is a little bit more important when you're writing production level code, do you think it's equally important when you're doing exploration as well? Or do you think, you know, the cell code is, okay, we can keep using the DF DAW shape and just run that while we're doing exploration and maybe once we are writing the production level code, that, that doesn't really fly. You know, I, I talk about this a lot. I think clean code should be right at the very beginning, no matter what you're doing. Because exploratory data analysis, like the workflow I see data analysts do all the time is, okay, I have a new exploratory data analysis. I create a new Jupyter notebook. And then the first thing they do is they go find their last analysis and they start copying the code over, right? Like, oh, I don't want to redo this again, right? And But like that first code, they wrote being like, oh, this is just a quick script and it's really bad. And then they go and they copy it over and then they're like trying to, you know, run it. And they're like, oh no, I made a mistake. And now they go and, you know, they make fixes and then they make edits and they, you know, it's just like, no, like just, just go. And then this is actually something I, I, I recommend is like have a Jupyter notebook that is like four notes, like actual notes, right? Like you're going to go and, and you're going to copy and paste okay, this function was really useful. Copy and paste it over, give notes about what it does and like clean it up, you know? And then like when you go and you are going to copy code, you're first going to look at that notebook that has all your clean code. You know, it's going to have all that, all your reference stuff in it. And, and that's going to just, and, and then you're copying over and things are just going to go a lot smoother when it comes to a quick analysis, right? Because like no quick analysis is ever like quick. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, and so like, and so like, it's almost more important to make sure your code is clean when it's, when it's quick and when it's supposed to be an exploratory data analysis. Cause, um, like w one of the things software engineers have learned is like, you're, you know, when you're writing code, like you yourself are reading it about 10 times more than you're writing. You know, uh -huh. you're, you're scanning up, you're looking up, oh, what did I set this at? Okay. What is this variable? And so like, you know, every code is read way more than it's ever written. And so like that is the important part of why clean code is good. And like clean code is, is way more valuable for you, right? Like it's future you, whether or not that future you, earlier I said six months, but like you will find value five minutes from now, right? Like when you're coding and you're just looking back up and like, oh, what, what, what did I do up here? You know, like, what did I name that variable? You know, and so good clean code is useful. Um, and, and, and this is often like one of the values of actually working in an IDE versus, you know, just a general Jupyter notebook is IDEs come with all of the helpful, you know, code completion tips and, and other things like that. And so like, um, I, I often encourage data scientists, Hey, go open up an IDE. Like it's fine if you use Jupyter notebooks and you love that, but like open it up and realize what tools and like what things are there and ready for you out of the box. Cause it'll definitely change your life. Yeah, and it's so interesting that you point that out, like the foundation and how just us as humans, we're so in a hurry all the time to get to the next thing or try and figure something out that we do these quick hacks and then we just start throwing something on top of these quick hacks and that foundational level is so flimsy that it can end up coming back and biting you in the ass real quick. And so... I, I want to ask one more thing before we move on to the, um, uh, actually, so one of my most popular posts on LinkedIn was about streaming data in real time. And that seems to blow up. I wanted to ask you before we jump to the next one, what has been your most popular post on LinkedIn thus far? I imagine it's around something clean code. Um, so this is interesting. So I think my most popular post ever was taken down because it was too controversial and taken uh, down by who you or LinkedIn? LinkedIn by LinkedIn. No, 
yeah about clean coke like, about data scientists <laughs> some data scientists so, at linkedin got to... <laughs> so it was yes yeah so it was it was it was a very simple um very very simple all it was um and i'm i'm known to be a little controversial sometimes but all all, all the post said was clean code is greater than clean data and it it kind of blew up <laughs> and like a lot of people were really angry with this um but like my 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 basic uh you know thought process around this is just like clean data comes from clean code like all data like ultimately comes from code like you know when you know whether or not you know you're taking a video you know a digital camera like all of that is you know code working under the hood to get the data and that you're putting into a database and you're using data pipelines and you're doing all these things and so like there's just this point where you know like they say like you know 80 percent of a data scientist's job is like cleaning data and like everyone was always saying hey data is so so important you have to you know you have to clean it garbage in garbage out and you know it's something that data scientists very understand very well because when their data is bad, like it just ruins their day. You know, they, it makes the analysis way harder. It makes training models really harder, you know, and, but like they don't want clean code because that's work that is on them to do. But it's just like, but if they had clean code, their data would be cleaner, right? And like, this is something, you know, with w things like what Chad Sanderson's pushing out with, you know, models and, and APIs and just, you know, having data contracts and things like that is just like, yeah, like if, if you just had clean code and data contracts and these other simple principles, like you're going to have clean data. Like it's just, it's going to be a result of it. And so anyway, so, so yeah, it was just a very simple post, you know, clean code is more important than clean data and it just blew up. 